Shalom everyone, giving all praises to the Most High, Elohim and His Word and His Truth. It's your boy G. Dash the Prophet. I'm back with Esau is not the so-called white man, part six. Using genetic methods, how, how long ago Neanderthals and humans were a single species, where the common ancestor was? And they've also been able to compare... Um, human genomes and ask the question of whether there's any evidence of Neanderthal genes in the human genome. And they found that there is. And, it's, and the amount is quite significant, upwards of 5 to 7 percent. Neanderthals used to live in the Neander Valley. It's, you, know, you could have called it the, you know, the Cayuga Lake Basin, but that's where they lived. Um, and out of Africa came the modern humans, and they, the word the, the geneticist uses, admixed. They admixed with the Neanderthals. <laughs> so he's saying someone came out of Africa into Europe and mixed with Neanderthals. This was the creation of the so-called white race today. So pay close attention as we go further. And they, they all used to live in caves in those days like this. Came out of Africa, had mixed with the Neanderthals. This was Neanderthal territory. There was another group of, of uh, Neanderthal-like creatures called the Denisovans. They lived up here in Siberia. And they have a, that their genome has been sequenced. They were distinct from the Neanderthals. And um, you, so you can find in people of European and Asian ancestry evidence of about... 7%, 5 to 10% of genome, of your genome, is common with that of Neanderthals. We've been separated from them by, for, for 30,000 years or so. And in the, some of the tribes in Papua New Guinea and those islands out there, there's evidence for, for, for a different kind of genome, which is probably the Denisovan genome. And they might have 7% Neanderthal and 5% Denisovan. So they might be 12 or 15 percent different from us. And Scientists have found that most of us still have a little bit of a Neanderthal inside us. A study into the DNA of the human subspecies found that they interbred with modern humans tens of thousands of years ago, and their genetic mark remains today. BBC's Palab Ghosh has more on these extraordinary findings. This is a skull of a modern human, and this is from a Neanderthal. Look closely and you can see that this one has a slightly longer brain case. Most scientists believe that these are two separate species and there wasn't much interaction between the two. But now we know there was interbreeding and that all non-Africans living today are part Neanderthal. You saying that Neanderthals are your brother, which is genetically not even true. I ain't no damn Neanderthal, and I ain't related to no damn Neanderthal. <laughs> Y'all real silly with this doctrine, man. The modern humans that remained in Africa don't show traces of Neanderthals in their DNA. Uh, their ancestors never interbred with Neanderthals, so there's no Neanderthal DNA there. As it turned out, I had no Neanderthal ancestry at all. But now, actually, with a retrospectroscope, I think maybe it would have been nice to have a bit. Because <laughs> you destroyed... The Africans came out from Africa have no evidence of any Neanderthal genes in them. No evidence of admixture. So they're the real pure humans. Now if you'd like to get access to this lesson, please join my online school. Those of you know, I don't teach on YouTube no more. So please, if you would like to learn more on this truth here, please join my online school. On that note, peace and shalom. It's not what you know. It's what you can prove.